Hello everyone. Welcome to episode two, Time Out with Temple. Um, this week, uh, not much going on in the sports world this week. Um, just got home from filming our, our uh, Barbells and Barstools podcast, so make sure you check that out when it's posted tomorrow. Talk about some great stuff this week. Um, so yeah, give it a listen. So, to start out with, uh, I told you guys I was going to be wearing something sports-wise each week. So this week, I have my UCLA Russell Westbrook jersey on. Uh, that'll kind of tie into the first thing I'm going to talk about, which is, um, let me rewind a second. So what I'm going to try and bring to these are, I'm going to think of things that I've gotten into an argument about uh, sports-wise over the weekend, throughout the week, with friends or colleagues. And something that really got us fired up. So, first things first, uh, we have been getting into many Kevin Durant arguments going to the Warriors. Kind of reason why I wore this, kind of relevant. Uh, Russell's not too happy about it, obviously. Kind of gave him the cold shoulder, didn't really call him before he made the move. Whatever. But anyways, so, we've been arguing about will Kevin Durant make the Golden State Warriors a better basketball team. And I feel strongly on the side he will. Uh, a couple of my buddies feel strongly on the side he won't. I think it's an extremely pessimistic view to say he won't. Um, I think it's the type of people that just like when something good happens, they like try to go against the grain or be different and like seek out the negatives. Like, well, this is happening. Oh, well, well, you got to think about this and like this. No, no. He's one of the best basketball players in the world. He's going to what I think is still the best team in the world. I mean, if anything, you know, they're just as good. Or better. I don't think they'll make him worse. Now, am I a dumb sports fan? No, I know that he could come in and make them worse. I'm a realistic person. Uh, you know, they run a system over there at Golden State. Um, you know, ball movement, all that type of stuff. He's a isolation basketball player. So yes, could it happen? Yes, but I think if anything, they'll be just as good, uh, if not better. I mean, A plus B equals C. He's one of the best basketball players in the world. I think it's you know someone who. He's just trying to go against the grain and be different if you say otherwise. And if you are right and he is worse, uh, that's a good guess. I don't think it's an educated guess. All right, so that's out of the way. What else is going on this week? We have the start of the fourth major, fourth and last major golf tournament this week. Actually started, kicked off tonight, today. Um, we got Jimmy Walker in the lead right now at 5-under, a bunch of people at 4-under, uh, 3-under, and two under so it should be exciting uh friday saturday and sunday definitely um they've all been exciting so far so looking forward to watching those um that kind of takes me into my next topic about kind of what we talked about uh, on barbells and bar stools tonight so i won't go too deep into it but uh with athletes skipping the olympics um it, i mean it's unfortunate it's just so against what the olympics is supposed to be right now you're supposed to be more than willing to compete for your country, you know, very honorable thing to do. Uh, but you just can't help, you can't blame the athletes for pulling out of the Olympics. I mean, with all the stuff that's going on, just caught some people uh, planning terrorist activity. Uh, you got the clean water issue, Zika. Uh, Olympic Village is basically uninhabitable right now. Uh, a couple athletes have already been robbed. It's just a mess. I mean, infrastructure is not ready yet for it. You just can't blame people that really are going there to do a sport in which they don't really have anything to prove. I mean, you got swimming and track where that's their Super Bowl. I mean, that's the that's the big thing. But you got golf. They just brought it in this year. The format sucks. It's shitty. Um, there's just really, in like basketball-wise, with those guys pulling out, um, they just don't have anything to prove. It's not It's not worth it to them to, you know, mess up their career on an injury or something happens outside of the game it just makes sense so that's kind of another thing that's going on right now uh pretty slow sports week like i said so yeah hopefully it picks up and i'll have some you know intense opinionated arguments to come at you guys in the weeks to follow but right now it's just kind of slow but so that'll be it um i promise you guys i will do something booze related at the end of each episode so an honor of golf I am going to juggle a golf ball to a full beer, anytime fitness, and I will chug it. So, here we go. Oh, lagging with the club.
All right, peace out, y'all.